Hello and welcome to TNO TPR and today we're looking at some e-liquids from Dark Star Vapor called Liquid. Okay, so as I said today, we're looking at some e-liquids from Dark Star Vapor. Um, links in the description down below. If you haven't heard of them before, really good website, especially for DIY and bottle shots, things like that. Um, but this is a few of their e-liquids from their range called Liquid. Um, now they do loads of different ranges. Um, so I've tried a few of them as well. I've done a few reviews on this channel as well. They're normally pretty decent, so I'm quite looking forward to this. So before we get into it and start trying them, let's dive down, let's have a look, see what we got, see if we need to do anything to them, and then we'll come up and we'll give them a go. Okay, so the other day this turned up from Dark Star Vapor. Now I do love their black bubble wrapping they send it in. It looks so cool. And these guys are really, really good, especially their delivery. I mean, literally I spoke to them yesterday um, and then it was here. Um, it really is quick delivery. Um, and what have we got? We have got three e-liquids here from their liquid range. Oh, okay. So we have got green dragon brew, blue raspberry and strawberry pudding. Okay, so from what I've seen online of these, this is a obviously a strawberry rice pudding, simple as. This is a blue raspberry, like a slush puppy. And this one is the green dragon brew. Now, what they actually say on this one, I did have a quick look online the other day because I was quite interested with this one. Not normally my type of thing, but what it says is, it says it's a ripe dragon fruit and fresh green tea along with assortment of exotic fruits. So it sounds really, really nice. Now these are 60 mil short fill bottles. What that means is they're 60 mil bottles and they come with 50 mil of your e-liquid as such. And it leaves you a little 10 mil on the top there to fill them up and use for your nicotine. Now I'm going to vape them at around three milligrams. So basically it means one 10 mil of this 18 milligram nicotine into each one, which will then overall give me three milligram. So rather than bore the life out and show you me filling these up, let me speed this bit up and then we can go up. We'll give them a try and I'll tell you what I think of them. Okay, so we're up now and there you go. Um, yeah, so three nice flavours actually. Um, if you don't know, primarily, I used to think I absolutely only liked desserts, things like that, you know, custards, bakeries, things like that. But over doing all these reviews, I have started to really like the fruit. So I am quite looking forward to that green dragon brew. In saying that, I do like a sort of slushy, which is the like blue raspberry, and the rice pudding sounds absolutely fantastic. So I'm gonna leave that one to last. But let's try the green dragon brew first, shall we? Now, as always, I'm gonna be using my Vanity Vega mod with my Gunard air on top. If you don't know, I've had the same build from the very, very beginning. Um, the reason was, obviously, with different builds, you can get different flavors. And I didn't wanna have a really good e-liquid I did on a rubbish build and got an all right flavor and I had a really rubbish e-liquid on a good build and got an all right flavor as well because then you wouldn't be able to tell so the idea was to keep a build the same on the same um, RDA the whole time so if it is nice we should be able to tell and um, it's a real simple um, build it's just two coils and it's six stainless steel wraps on a 3.5 mil rod so it really really is simple um, but it, it's, it's fairly decent you know vapor products okay off it and you also get quite a good flavor to be fair in fact I'd say really good flavor um, if you're starting out on RDA's things like that it's definitely a sort of build to go for it, as I say it's simple to build easy and it works well it's coming out today at 0 0.28 ohms and we'll be vaping around 50 55 watts so let's get loading this one up shall we first get them cottons nice and juicy so this is the um what was this one again this had dragon fruit green tea and assortment of exotic fruit so it smells quite nice it smells a little bit soapy if i'm honest with you though Obviously, this is an honest review. Um, my channel is all about the honesty. As I say many times, if it upsets manufacturers, it upsets people, I apologize, but I can only give you my views and I only ever will give you my honest review. Um, and yeah, that's definitely got like a soapy sort of smell to it, but uh, there's only one way to find out what it's like and that's to give it a go. So let's give it a go. Okay, it's, yeah, the dragon fruit is the predominant flavour. Um, and then you do kind of get that green tea. I can't really tell if there's any other flavours in there. Um, but there is slight dryness to it. it kind of makes the top of your mouth feel a bit dry. Um, I'm not a massive fan of that. That could be the tea. Sometimes tea can do that, but... Yeah, it's initial like big burst of dragon fruit which is quite nice and then it kind of gets dry and then you kind of get a tea taste and then 
possibly maybe there's a slight fruitiness to the end of it but I'm not sure if that's a exotic fruits or whether that's just the dragon fruit coming up again um, but yeah it's, that's, uh, that's not as good as I was hoping it's going to be actually yeah that's a little bit too dry for me and the tea's not that strong actually I tried one a little while ago um, I think it was sweet tea or something like that and it was a beautiful tea it really did taste like tea that kind of taste almost like you've You've had a little chew on a few little tea leaves almost, if you know what I mean. So you kind of get that dryness and that bitterness. Um, yeah, bit of a shame, that one. Um, as always, I shall do my little scoring of them. Um, I do it out of one out of ten. Obviously, ten being really good, one being absolutely terrible. Um, and I'm probably going to give this one... I'm probably going to give it a six, because that dragon fruit is nice. But as I say, that dryness and the, the sort of bitter tea sort of flavour at the end just isn't brilliant in my eyes. But, um, yeah, it's, it's fairly decent, if that's the sort of thing you like. Um... There probably is better ones out there, but um, yeah, I'm giving it a six. Anyway, let's change these cartons, we'll come back and let's try blue raspberry. Okay, so we're back now and we are trying this blue raspberry. Now, um, there isn't a great deal on it on the website, um, but blue raspberry normally means it's like a slush puppy type thing. Um, and I've tried absolute loads of these over the years, so I should be able to give you some good advice on this one. Um, and it is something I do like, especially in the summertime when the sun's out. It is really refreshing, so... Smell wise, this one smells actually quite nice. Nice and um, sort of, what is it, blueberry, raspberry, you know that kind of smell you get from like a slush puppy or a slurpee sort of thing. Mm, that smells actually really, really nice, but uh, let's give it a go. Oh, see, now that's much better. Yeah, that's much, much better. You're getting that sort of raspberry flavour, and then you're getting that sort of little bit of sweetness to it, and that, there's a little bit of cooling in there as well. Yeah, that's much, much better. Yeah, that's pretty decent. Um, it's probably not the best blue raspberry I've ever tried, if I'm honest with you, but it's fairly decent. Now, price-wise, you're looking at £14 pound plus you've got to add your nicotine. So you're looking at about £15, £16, pound, which is, I don't know, what, $18, 19 20 something like that. Um, so they're not massively cheap. Um, yeah, uh, to be honest with you, I'd probably advise trying some other ones of the Blue Raspberry. It's okay, but it's not as good as I was hoping it would be. Um, but again, I'll do my little scoring out of it, and I'm probably going to give that one, I'll give that a 6.5. It's not quite a 7, but it's not as bad as the Green Dragon Brew. So yeah, it's not bad. It's it's fairly average, um, but there is better ones out there. Anyway, one more to try, and this is the one I'm probably looking forward to the most, strawberry rice pudding. Okay, so we're back up now, and it's the strawberry rice pudding. Um, just been loading it up, but I'm gonna stick a bit more on just to make sure it's nice and juicy. I do have a problem with over dripping, I must admit, but I can't help it. I like to have it really, really juicy so I can taste it nice. <laughs> but anyway, let's see what this one's like. Oh yeah, that's better. Yeah, that's the best of this lot by sure, 100%. That's, first off, you get that initial sort of lovely, realistic, sort of ripe, fresh strawberry, and then you get that creamy, ricey sort of flavor at the end. That is really, really good. The rice isn't overpowering, but then it isn't meant to be. It isn't in the real thing. It's more about the cream and the strawberry. And there's just that sort of little resemblance of rice in there. That is really, really good, really good. That's the best one of this lot, definitely. Mm, really really good nice and strong as well it's not too weak mm, really good um, i'm gonna give that a i'll give it a 7.5 um it's not the best strawberry rice pudding i've ever tried if i'm honest with you um but it is pretty decent and it is up and near them um yeah that's the best of this bunch really really good well that's the end of this review, um, yeah, uh, the Green Dragon Brew and the Blue Raspberry, I probably wouldn't recommend, there is better ones out there, even in these sort of cheaper bottle sort of shot type ones, um, but the Strawberry Rice Pudding is one I definitely would recommend. Now obviously the link is in the description down below if you want to go check these guys out, I would definitely recommend it because they have tons of stuff in there. And DIY stuff as well, all your concentrates, things like that. They stock Capella, TPA, loads of them. Um, I think they're doing Weira now as well, actually, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, and they also do a ton of different ranges. Um, this liquid is just one of them. Um, I've done some more as well. In fact, if I can find them, I'll stick them in the description down below if you can go check them out as well. Um, but yeah, 
really really nice um, that rice pudding and I definitely would recommend that one anyway that's the end of this review I hope you did enjoy it if you did hit the like button if you want to see more please subscribe and I'll see you again soon Thank you.